We're here in the Redwoods again today and just having a wonderful time and just grooving around. We found this one tree, it's probably 50 foot around. It's not the biggest one, but it saved me walking about two miles to the big <laughs> one. So I decided this baby looking better all the time. Anyway, I want to share some scriptures with you this morning or this afternoon, it might be for you this evening, about prayer. God said in John the 15th chapter and the seventh verse, if you remain in me, or bad in me, it says in King James. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you can ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Now that is an amazing thought. If you live in Christ and you let his words live in you and you just trust him enough to do what his word says, mm -hmm. ask anything you wish and it will be done for you. Now in Mark the 11th chapter, verse 24 says this, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you receive it. This, this big tree we're beside is actually two trees. Two seeds fell side by side, and they grew up by probably 100, 150 feet, I don't know. The two together are about 50 feet around, and there's a cave inside them. You could spend the night in there, man. It's really big. It's really nice in there. But it says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you receive it, and it will be yours. Now, the reason I brought up that this is two trees is because when you're believing for something, there's two things you need to do. You need to believe and you need to have faith, in other words, but you also need to be patient. You need to wait on the Lord. There's no time when I get to be impatient with God and just demand that He do what I want to, what I'm believing for right now. There's no place where He said He would do that. But He did say, if you trust Him and believe and stay in faith, and be patient, be content where you are yeah. and just do the best you can where you are. Be faithful in what he referred to as little things. They might be little to you, they might be big to God. That you could have whatever you're believing for. Mm. And the last one I want to leave with you today is Matthew 18, verse 19. The reason I asked my bride to stand in there with me, it says, mm. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything mm. they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Yeah. That's, That's the good. Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords talking. Yeah, I know you're praying about things. Keep believing. Be patient with God. We're praying for you. We're yes, believing we with you. We're applying our faith. Mm -hmm. We want you to have a better quality of life, and so does our fa Heavenly Father. So mm -hmm. trust Him. It's going to get better. God bless yes. you, man. Have a wonderful day. And tell your friends, we'll see you tomorrow.